Okay, I'm going to have another go with some hen and some chicks. I've watered, uh, spray watered my paper and I'm going to use a slightly different colour. I'm going to try with some yellow ochre, crimson inks, Bombay inks and with the Japanese um, blue ink. So I've got the three primary colours and just see how they interact. So first off I'm going to throw in a rough drawing of the chicken, the hen itself. And she looks after her brood. You get quite a soft effect if it's wet in wet like this. They're quite triangular chickens. And the legs are down here somewhere. And let's try some yellow ochre. Making sure the brush is well rinsed in between, otherwise I'll go green very quickly. And I'm just going to blob in. I'm going to have to drop it on the page, I think. So it becomes a sort of blush where the chicks will appear. Let's put a load of chicks there and then we'll draw back in in a minute. There's quite a lot of water on the head here and pull some off and I'm going to come in with my stick and my ink again and structure the rather loose ink blushing that's going on. You can also draw in some of the feathers, which is quite fun. And then there's a very soft bit that comes out here. So let's loosen it up a bit. Her legs be down here somewhere. Something like that. There's the drumstick. Sorry for the vegetarians of you. And there's the other leg in there. And then, of course, you have a wing to remember. Usually you can only really see part of it. So just draw in some darks to suggest the end of the wing there. Okay, now let's put our comb in. But there's an awful lot of water on here, so I'm going to pull out with a kitchen paper the excess. And I'm going to come in just roughly draw in what's happening at the top end. And the comb comes down onto the top of the beak and it's often bright red when they're laying eggs but I'm going to make it bright red even though she's broody. A little bit of dark for the eye, so if I can put that in now, probably lose it a bit. And they get these neck feathers, which help create the contour. Now let's try and do the chicks. These will probably go a little green. I tend to do them in straight lines.
and they can be pecking on the ground, copying mum of course. If the marks are too hard, then you can either spray again, which I'm going to do, add a little tiny bit of red to pink them down. So this one can be tucked in behind there, overlapping that one. They really haven't got much of a tail at this age. Oops, it's too strong. Pull a little bit out quickly. There's a whole puddle on the page here. It often hides your mistakes by just spraying it a bit. A lump of flotsam there, as usual. This one's standing under there, going under mum. Let's take a bit of that out. a little more out. And a little more pink. I love the way this, um, the colour is just running everywhere here. So let's put some pink it's crimson actually, but it is on the pink spectrum. So we're tying in the pink, or the red if you like, down into the legs. And that will help unify the picture. Maybe you'll just put a little on her chest there. Warm her underbelly up. That's where she keeps her chicks, of course. Some lovely marks coming in here. Of course you don't have to draw with the blue, you can draw with the red or the yellow with the stick, it doesn't matter. I'm just coming in making a few extra marks. Make sense of these chicks, which are just blobs of straight lines to be honest. Oops, sorry. This one can be scratching around. Okay, let's just move that a little. There'll come a point when you need to, to dry I'm going to scrape across to give some sort of grounding. And let that dry for a moment. So I've carried on putting a few more details in with stick and intensifying some of the colours with the brush. And now I've just popped a little shadow under the chicks and just doing the same for the hen, just to ground them. And let's just loosen that off. going to warm up the shadow just at the foreground just to help it and maybe just spray it this way 
A few splatters won't go amiss. Oops, that's a bit too much. Again, let it run. So not too dominant. I just want them. I didn't want quite so much as that. So I'm just going to dab them out with a bit of tissue. Didn't want it in there particularly. There you go. And then tiny, tiny bit. Just to hold that space. There's quite a big space here doing nothing. So just a few flecks. There could be insects, of course, could be anything. But it's all a bit surreal because the chicken's not exactly the right colour anyway. But it's all about having fun and letting the water move on the page, letting the pigment move. And, and so you get these um, lovely spontaneous effects. Sometimes you lose control and sometimes you actually gain something by doing it that way. This is a little bit too much water here, but um, yeah, have a go.